Wow. Since I've been watching a movie, I have never seen a movie so interesting like this movie. This movie is talking so much about me, about my situation right now. I think it is right time I confess my love to Latifa. I need to tell her how I feel about her. Yes, I need to do it. This movie is moving me right now. It's making me to feel so much love for my crush Latifa. Welcome, mommy. Uh huh. How are you? I'm fine, ma. What of your father? Okay, daddy. He's in his room sleeping. Good. Okay. You know you can be prosecuted for that. Tsuna? Yes, mommy. What type of movie is this that you are watching? When did you start watching this type of movie in this house? Mommy, there is nothing bad in this movie. The movie said 18 and above, and I am above 18, so I can watch it. And so, even if the movie is above 18, you don't have the right to be watching this kind of movie in this house. When I was at your age, I was still watching cartoon. But mommy, we are in a civilized world now. A big boy like me don't watch cartoon. Will you keep quiet, dear? We are in a civilized world. What do you know about civilized world? You are watching a love movie. What do you know about love? As young as you are. What do you know about love? So you have started chasing all those small, small girls all around in your school. Eh? Is that what you have been doing? You know what? Turn off that TV and go inside your room and go and get your books and start reading now. If you don't want me to deal with you before I get back from inside, I want to meet you reading your book now. Look at his head. Will you go? Ha, small boy, look at what he's watching. Look at his head, like coconuts. Idiot! Let me come back and catch you watching any love love movie again in this house. You see what I'll do to you. Ha! -ha. Children of nowadays. A few moments later. I don't know. I don't even know what is wrong with our African parents. They just like treating us like a kid. Am I a kid? I'm above 18. I can watch love movies. What is the problem with watching a, a love movie? The movie said 18 plus. Why will you say I should off it? I don't like what Mama Tuna is doing to me in this house. You say I should read. Is it every time someone will be reading this book? Is it every time? Every day? Read your book. Read your book. Read your book. Me, I'm tired. Me, I'm tired. I don't think I can continue reading this book. I'm just reading this book. It's just entering my head and coming out of this place. I think I, would, I should just write down my love letter to Latifa. Dear Latifa, ever since I have seen you in my school, dear Latifa, you are the sugar in my tea, the cocoa in my cupboard. Coach in my cupboard. You know you can be prosecuted for that. Okay, ma. Thank you for calling. Don't worry yourself. I will inform his father about the issue. Thank you. This boy caught you, now. This boy every time problem, every time trouble. How will you be going to school and you won't be copying notes in class? What kind of a, of a child are you? I'm tired of this boy. Jesus is Lord! Chai! 
Apostle will hear of this. Tuna? What's all this? Why did you litter the floor with sheet of papers? Eh? No, mommy. I was just solving mathematics on these rough papers. You are solving mathematics? What kind of nonsense mathematics is that? Let me even see what you are solving. Mommy, I swear it's just my mathematics rough work. Nothing else. Give it to me. Tuna, you are writing a love letter to a girl called Latifa. Mommy, please, I'm sorry. Hey, this boy have killed me, oh. Tuna. Mommy, please. But you told me you are solving mathematics. So you lied to me, this boy. Oh yeah, kneel down there. I said kneel down. Ha. Look at this boy. Writing a love letter to a girl. You are finished in this house today. You are finished in this house. Mommy, please. No, don't beg me. Mommy, please, I'm sorry. Your sorry will not solve anything. When I saw you watching a, a love movie, I was suspecting something. I knew you were up to something. I knew it. Huh? No wonder. Your teacher called me just now. She called me just now that you don't have exercise books in school. That you don't copy notes in school. And I was about to come and tell you. That was when I saw sheet of paper. So this is what you are using your exercise books to do? You are using them to write love letters to little, little girls? Small, small girls? Under 12, under 13? No, mommy. Your father must hear about this. Mommy, please don't allow daddy to know about this. Mm -mm. Nothing will stop me from telling your father about this. Mommy, please, I'm begging you. Will you raise up your hand and close your eyes? Oh my God. Uh -uh. What kind of thing is this in this house? You people cannot allow someone to sleep and rest in this house. Eh? Is it a sin for me to have a wife and a son in this house? I decided to rest at home today because of stress of work yesterday. But no, you people did not allow me to sleep. I'm talking now, nobody is answering me. Thank God you can witness what this coconut-headed boy is doing to me in this house. Thank God you can see how he is stressing me in this house. Eh, uh, I understand. But that doesn't mean you people will not allow me to sleep in and rest in this house. Mama, tonight, you know I don't like all these kind of things. Okay. Funka! Mama, tuna. What is all this sheet of papers on the floor? What happened? Are you asking me? Ask your son. Ask tuna, not me. Tuna, why did you litter the floor with sheet of papers? Um. Anyway, since he can't tell you what he did, when I came back from the market, I caught him watching a love movie. So I told him to off the TV and go back to his room to go and pick up his book so he can start reading. Before I go in and come out, I caught him again, red-handed. He was writing a love letter to a girl called Latifa. You see what this your, your coconut-headed son is doing in this house? He does not study in school anymore. His teacher just called me. Just now, she told me this boy don't used to copy notes in, in class. He don't used to attend classes. He's always outside chasing girls up and down. You will move out of this house. Daddy, please, I can explain. I must teach you the lesson of your life. Baba Tuna, please just take it easy. Mama Tuna, don't disturb me. It's so hot in here. Hey guys, thank you for watching this week's episode of Tuna and Family Comedy Video. We appreciate your support and love for us all this while and we are currently on 34,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please guys, share these videos with your friends and keep on supporting us. Huh? We love you guys and we'll be here again same time next week.